Yeah. What's up, y'all? Hey, happy Friday. Uh, briefly, just want to um, let you guys in on a little secret. It's really not a secret, but to a lot of people it is a secret because they can't seem to do one simple thing. Let me give you the secret to staying healthy and not getting sick, or at least not getting sick a lot. What's the secret to staying healthy? What's the secret to not getting sick all the time? Washing your hands? A lot of people don't wash their hands, dog. One of the simplest things you can do, it takes no time. Just like I just put my fingers on my face right here, wipe my eyes, my hands are clean. I just washed them. Anytime I touch something that I know I'm not sure on whether or not someone touched it or not, I'm gonna wash my hands. Not only do I keep sanitizer <clears throat> or hand lotion, but I wash my hands regularly. After I use the restroom, I wash my hands. After I touch a door, when I enter into a business, I wash my hands. It don't matter what it is, if I touch something, some type of surface, and I have to use my fingers, I'm gonna wash my hands. And I think what a lot of people fail to do, or fail to realize is, <clears throat> they put a lot of things, they put a lot of germs, and dirt, and viruses on their face, or in their mouth. You too, thank you. Without, Realizing that they have stuff on their fingers. My hands ain't dirty. You know, if my hands were dirty, I'm going to clean them. So many people, I've even heard people go as, as far as saying, well, we need germs. We, we, we need, to, our body needs some form of germs every now and then. I don't know about that. I mean... Maybe that may be true for our body to be able to <clears throat> handle when there's some type of germs or dirt or bacteria that goes in our mouth, but I'm not going to tell myself I'll be okay. It's all good. I can, you know, if I got just caked up dirt on my body and because my body needs some type of germs or bacteria, I'm going to do it. You have to be a real idiot. It would be really stupid to really think you're okay or, or think that's okay to do that. But that's the key. The key ingredient to staying healthy or at least trying not to get sick a lot is washing your damn hands. You would think after the pandemic, people would have really, really stepped their game up on washing their hands. Not touching so much stuff. <clears throat> Or when they touch stuff, even when you shake somebody's hands, you know that? You don't realize that? Some people would shake somebody's hand, how you doing? And then put their hand right on their face. Pick their nose and right their eyes. Right after they shook somebody's hand, you don't know where that person's hands been. That, that, pers that person could have had their hands in their ass prior to shaking your hand. Could have been digging in their ass and, oh, how you doing? Yeah. <laughs> and yo, dumbass, this is why I don't shake everybody's hand. I don't know where people's hands been, you know? I don't know what you was touching. I don't know what you was doing prior to me shaking your hand. I get it. It's a, it's a kind gesture. It's a traditional thing to do when you greet someone out of respect, you shake their hand. I get that. But some people have nasty habits. And I don't trust people's, I don't trust people enough to um, give them the benefit of the doubt that when I shake their hand, they're not transferring dirt or bad energy over to me because not only could you be um, or not only could someone be transferring germs over to your hand but they could be transferring bad energy to you as well so you got to be careful not to just shake people's hands or you got to be careful not to shake people's hands not only just because of they, they might have germs and stuff on their hand but you don't know what type of energy they have either. 
Bye. You don't know what kind of energy they have. So, just for your own safety and your own protection, forget nothing against them. No hard feelings, but if you care about yourself enough and if you value yourself enough, you wouldn't just openly be all touchy, touchy, filly, filly with everybody. Because there's a lot of people that have nasty habits. Very nasty habits. There's people that cough and they cough right in their hand. They don't wash their hand. They won't even wipe it off. They would just, <laughs> hey, hey, baby. Just grab somebody close. And, some people be nasty. Some mothers and some fathers, you know, they can have stuff all over their hands. They, they're holding, they're carrying their babies. You ever notice why? You ever notice about babies? Sometimes a lot of babies can get sick a lot. Babies get sick a lot, you know, when they're young because their immune system, everything is so fresh. And it's like, you got to be very, very careful because their bodies are very sensitive. So you got to be careful what you transfer over to your child. But it could be mothers and fathers with dirty ass hands and they pick up their baby, whether the baby's crying or <clears throat> whatever the case may be. And the whole time, the parents are unconscious to what's on their hand and unconscious to what they could be transferring over to their baby. Especially mothers too, because mothers are handling, especially when the baby, the, the child is small, the mothers are handling the babies more than the father. So it's more important for the mothers to keep their hands clean. <clears throat> for sure, because you, when you're touching the baby, you're touching the baby's head, you're touching the baby's face. Also, you gotta be careful what you're doing with your mouth. Men and women. You, you, Cause you could be transferring over something to your child as well. Mothers. You know, I ain't trying to be extra explicit like that, but, you know, you, you can't find yourself sucking a D from your man, and then you go right to your baby, hey, baby, wash your, wash your mouth out, brush your teeth, some scope, get some scope in there, and chew some gum or some candy. Don't transfer over no bacterias, no germs, no nothing to your children. Because a lot of you parents are getting your kids sick because y'all nasty, because y'all sick. Y'all got some sick habits. And some of y'all are getting yourselves sick because y'all got sick habits. Some of the simplest things you could do, you're not doing because you have a lot of bad habits. And a lot of people are just plain on nasty and don't really, really value their health <clears throat> like some other people. So, take my advice, man. If you want to avoid getting sick, why do you think a lot of people was catching the, the, the virus? Because they were carrying <clears throat> viruses around by not washing their hands and not doing what they need to do to keep themselves clean and avoid viruses. You know, you come home, you come up from home from a long work day, get, take those clothes off. Put those clothes in a washing machine if you need to. Especially if you've been, if you know those clothes have been up against all kind of germs and dirt or whatever. And then get your ass in the shower. Take a shower. Wash your ass. Don't just settle in at home, you know, keep the same clothes on and just be marinating in all that funk and germs and bacteria and viruses that's all over your body. And then you connecting with everybody. Your spouse or the person in your relationship, your kids. <clears throat> and or babies you know so we have to be more responsible as human beings and we have to act more humane you know and also it's your attitude as well a lot of people get sick too because their attitudes stink a lot of people are more are very self-toxic they um what they do a lot is they talk negative or they're talking negative about other people so when you're dwelling on negativity you're very very toxic to other people and to yourself and then on top of that you're nasty and you have a lot of bad habits and you don't wash your hands you don't do anything to uh at least try to prevent getting sick or tr or or passing around viruses or bacteria you know then you're the problem you, you got to get you some help you got to step your game up you know I, this, the most of the same people the people that I, in my in my world or in my area 
The same people that I know of that get sick all the time, they're the same people that are, are self-toxic, they're negative, you know, they're, they're full of drama and they have a lot of evil, negative, toxic words that come out their mouth a lot. And then also they have a lot of bad habits. Very nasty, very nasty people. Even in their house, in you know, their houses, other rooms, they're very nasty. Don't don't take care of this shit. Don't take care of nothing. Just very, very careless. You cannot be careless with life and yourself and think that you're going to thrive and have a healthy life. No. You get back what you put out. So if you're toxic <clears throat> and you're nasty, your body is going to be toxic. And you're going to always feel nasty and disgusting. So, don't dish out what you can't take. If you're dishing out toxicity, and you're always being negative and, and uh, draining to other people, and then on top of that, you're being very nasty and appropriate, you're doing all these little nasty sex pay stuff, you don't wash your hands, you don't wash your body, you're just marinating funk and bacteria and diseases, and you got this careless attitude as to say, oh, well, you know, our body needs these germs, we need all this stuff, so it's not a problem. You are the problem, and you're the main one that gets sick all the time. So, it's, it's your life, and it's your call, you know? But if you want a better, healthy life, and you're, trying to, and you're wondering why you always get sick, maybe it's because of some of these habits I just mentioned. Maybe if you break some of those habits, maybe it might be a shift. But the number one easiest thing to prevent a lot of germs and sicknesses being held, held dormant is your hands wash your hands i don't care if you worry about getting your hands ashy keep some lotion on deck if you're so worried about that but i'd rather wash my hands consistently throughout the day and walk around with ashy hands if i don't have lotion you know i'd rather do that instead of just be carrying caked up dirt and germs and bacteria on my hands and then risking spreading it to someone else or risking getting myself sick the choice is yours be easy man